Hi guys, welcome back to the Lightford House. On today's video, I'm gonna show you what are my top four most used Instant Pot and Ninja gadgets in my kitchen. So be sure to hit that like button if you enjoy kitchen appliances. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Here we have the Instant Pod. And this is pretty much where we start our day every morning, my husband and I. So what I like about this is that you can make K-cups in it as well as the original line Nespresso Pods, which are these ones right here, these bell-shaped ones. Okay, so the Instant Pod gets used on a daily basis and on the weekend several times a day. So I do enjoy the Instant Pod. I've had this for about two years now and it's really easy to clean and descale. I have a video um, on my channel already about the descaling of this machine. It's pretty simple to use and so far I've had zero issues with this machine. So if you don't have one yet, I would look into one. Also, I think that they do now make a machine that just does the pods as well as the K-cups and ground coffee. And I don't know, um, I haven't looked into it, but I think that it looks similar to this one. So I'm not really sure what all the features and functions are on that one. But I like that you can choose if you want a two ounce, four ounce, eight ounce on the espresso. And then for coffee, you can make eight ounce, 10 ounce or a 12 ounce. So lots of nice um, options there. My second most used instant pot or foodie appliance would have to be my six quart instant pot. It is the Lux model, which is the older model of instant pot but I've never had any issues out of it. It works really well. And I just find that out of the three, six and eight quart, the six quart is really the perfect size for a family of four. And we always have leftovers, um, usually anyway. So I find that the six quart is my go-to more often than not out of the three, six or eight quart. So the six quart is a perfect size. Now for a Ninja product. I use my Ninja Foodie grill here. I love this thing. It does the air frying, dehydrating, roasting, and baking, as well as grill functions. So I really, I was looking for a new grill to replace my old uh, George Foreman grill, which still works, but the non-stick has worn off over time. So let me just pull this out a little bit from the counter and show you. All right, so there's a nice non-stick grilling pan that comes out and you can use the inner pot to do your baking, cooking in right there. So it just goes back in super easy. And then it also comes with this nice large non-stick air fryer basket. It's pretty good size. It holds a lot of good for a family size of about four to six people or less. I mean, you can cook in batches on this thing just like you can on anything else. So, um, easy for doing pork chops, hamburgers, hot dogs, all that good stuff. And then you've got your air fryer basket with it. I have not tried the bake mode. I have done the roast and you can actually fit a whole chicken in here quite nicely as well in this uh, inner pot and just roast a whole chicken. I've not done the dehydrate function in here either, but it would be nice to try to make some jerky or something like that in here. My fourth most used appliance here in my kitchen is going to be this Instant Pot Instant Precision Dutch Oven. It comes in different colors as far as the pot and the lid go. I think there's black, blue, and then I got this red one because it kind of goes with the kitchen. And I do like the color red, so I thought I would go ahead and just get this one. It... Um, has this removable cast iron enamel coated pan. You can use this inside your oven on the stove top. You can just pull this out and serve this if you need to just bring this pot to the table to serve your food. So it's really nice. Um, the lid and stuff is very heavy. It does come with a little 
a hot pad for you to put your lid on top of if you're stirring it. Um, and I like the fact that I don't have to use it in the oven because this base has all types of functions. Let me just plug this in so I can show you. This also doubles as like a slow cooker. So if you don't have a slow cooker, this can do the sear, saute mode, slow cook, braise, and then it's got two different manual modes as well as the keep warm function. So I do enjoy using this when I have a little bit of extra time during my day to throw something in and like slow cook it while I'm on my lunch break and then by the time I get off work it's ready to go for dinner so um, I find that this works quite nicely. Alright for my four least used kitchen appliances I'm coming up here to my cabinet above the stove and microwave and first we're going to start with this instant zest rice cooker. Now just because I don't use these appliances as much doesn't mean that I don't like them. I just don't use them as much as maybe I thought I would at the time that I got them. Um, so this has different functions. It does white rice, brown rice, quinoa, it can steam vegetables. It does come with a little steamer basket and it also does oatmeal. And I think I've used it a fair amount for oatmeal but I don't use it as much as I thought I would, especially because you can make rice in your Instant Pot. So I really just don't hardly ever pull this down. I haven't used it in maybe a year. And then there's the toaster. Coming over here, we have the Ace Blender and the accessories to it. Um, this is my second least used appliance in my kitchen. It's kind of nice that this can actually do like hot items as well as cold. So you could do frozen desserts, you could do like a hot soup or something like that, and I have used it a few times. I've done like tomato basil soup, I've done like a broccoli cheddar potato soup. Um, so it, it stays up here in this cabinet. I've used it maybe a handful of times. Back over here to the coffee bar for my third least used instant uh, appliance. This is the instant milk frother. I like it. It works well. I haven't had any issues with it. I just don't really make specialty coffee that often. Um, it's easy to clean up. This little whisk just removes out of here. You can do cold foam, warm foam, uh, extra frothy warm foam. So I mean it's easy to clean. Haven't had any issues out of it. Um, just don't really use it. It just kind of sits back here in the background and sometimes I honestly forget that it's back here. But when I do make a nice Nespresso, sometimes I will make some foam. I just don't do it every day, so it doesn't get used all the time. And for my fourth least used item here in the kitchen, I would probably say my 8-quart Instant Pot. I mostly use the eight quart when I'm proofing dough to make bread or something like that because it does have the yogurt function which is nice I um, mean it's great for making like a large meal I did use it tonight to make spaghetti for dinner because I wanted to change it up and it was sitting here on the counter so I was like you know I'll just go ahead and use it so yeah I just wanted to switch it up and actually put it to some use because I don't use it as much as I use my six quart and even the three quart over here. I use it sometimes for side dishes. Um, but those are my four most used and four least used appliances out of my kitchen. So again, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy your Instant Pot and Ninja appliances. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.